yo what's good y'all welcome or welcome back to billy ghost prophetic vessel we got a message for you okay listen as soon as i said that the ups truck came up so some of y'all might be getting a package okay this is for my capricorns and chosen ones all right you know that this is our private channel okay for our capricorns sun moon rising venus the north nodes and our chosen ones and yes we do know that every chosen one is not a capricorn however every zodiac sign is not a chosen one all right so i mean not everyone in a zodiac sign is a chosen one okay so it's specific But if you want to check out your other placements, check out our main channel, Don Juan Spiritual Guidance, okay, on YouTube. That link is in the description box, all right? So this has to do with love, okay, Capricorns and Chosen Ones. We will also have our Fallen Angels here, too, who are also Chosen Ones. They need guidance, too, from the Holy Spirit. All right, Holy Spirit. So, um, what would you like for them to see? Oh, okay. So, something's going to be happening in divine timing, okay? The Holy Spirit is asking for you to trust here. There could be some sort of avoidance and stalemate here when it comes to a love situation. All right, circumstance. We have a facade and beliefs here. So, there could be a difference in beliefs, morals, values, and beliefs. Somebody's wearing a mask, not being honest with their feelings, whether this is you or whoever you're dealing with here, okay? And when it comes to love, guys, we, um, God does not discriminate against love. Love is love as long as it's real and unconditional with God in it, okay? Um, so, we rep so we welcome monogamy, poly, LGBTQIA+, okay? This is a safe and sacred space. And if you don't like it, you can take your free will and home somewhere, okay? So... And just know that I don't control the storyline. The Holy Spirit does. I don't control the cards that come out. The Holy Spirit does. Okay. Listen, I'm just the messenger here. <laughs> All right. This could be past, present, and or future information for you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right. We, ha <laughs> we have higher self activation. So for some of you guys, this partnership here, um, it, it was the catalyst to put you on your journey. Okay, it was a catalyst to put you on your journey and who if you guys are in separation at this time, you or they are, you know, do some doing some sort of spying, whether that's on your social media or if you guys go to the same places, you know, it's not going to be the same for everyone. We have guarded and vulnerability. So you could be guarded or they are depending upon what side of the story that you are on. Now, please know that, guys, that these readings are timeless. All right. Uh, regardless of when you come across it, whether it's days, weeks, or years after this has come out, a message is a message and everybody's in different seasons in their life. So, so when the Holy Spirit feels like you are in a season to be receptive of a message, the Holy Spirit will um, allow you to come across it, okay? Or for you to be a messenger to someone else in his name, okay? And if you also want to book a personal reading for your own personal circumstance, you can feel free to book via the website, Don Juan Spiritual Guidance. It is linked in the description box, and it is the only way at this time to book a reading with us, okay? All right, so we have Remember and Awakening here. Ooh. So, yeah, you guys have some past life history with this person or people here. And when I say past life history, I don't just mean history in the present lifetime i mean like some past life history too uh with growth and summer being here so something could have happened in the summertime in any year okay um this is when it could have happened in a particular year that was doing the summertime okay or something will depending upon what season you are in while watching this okay and you might be receiving some sort of clarity However, it may not be from the 3D. You have to utilize your clairvoyancy here. Okay, your third eye senses. So, so the Holy Spirit and your ancestors of love and light and archangels may send you visions or prophetic dreams here. Okay, um, so pay attention, write them down, things of that nature. Okay, just because other people may not be into spiritual 
uh, be into their spiritual gifts doesn't mean that you don't have to be. All right, you tapped in for a reason. Somebody's ego and pride is getting in the way of something here. Of I'm hearing of a union or whatever the case is here. That's what could have happened for some of you guys. That could have, you know, their ego and toxic patterns here, whether this is you or whoever you were dealing with here, could have caused a separation. And not saying that both sides are perfect. There is a difference between flaws and abuse. Spring, seeds, seeds, spring. So a lot of you guys could have been um, planting seeds while you have been going through the dark night of the soul or they have, okay? Depending upon what side of the story that you are on, so the energies as you see fit. And please know that there is no such thing as gender and tarot. Energies are fluid, okay? We have autumn here, harvest. So you could be having a harvest soul at the time that this video is being recorded. It is September. I think September 15th or 16th, one of the two. So it's just about fall. Okay, you might, I mean, some people are already calling it fall because I mean, we're just a few days <laughs> really from it. All right. Um, something else could be happening in the fall, a fall season. Now, mind you, it doesn't have to be this year. It's in 2023. Okay, this is the year of 2023. Um, so something could be happening for you guys presently, depending upon the season that you're in. For some of you guys, this happened last fall or just a previous fall, okay? Or this is going to be in the future. It depends upon where you are in your cycle and in your journey and the season that God has you in. This is why you have to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. When you're not just watching my readings, anybody's reading. okay? Unless they give you some sort of other specific direction, okay? regret and repression so somebody's in regret here whether this is you or whoever you're dealing with they're missing some someone's nurturing energy so some energy here that was in this real ego energy here is like misses this nurturing this is this i'm hearing you know they were confused or you were confused so it's like all they could do is watch or or you depending upon well, this is what somebody feels like, or this could be like a, a real thing. We have past lack, oops, sorry, past lack suffering here. So someone could be in lack, um, you know, maybe this is how someone left you or you left someone or this is how you feel someone, you know, the energy that they left you in or whatever the case may be. Um, and now this is the same energy. So the, whatever energy that someone initially left someone in wrongfully is now how someone is in tenfold as their karma yep truth so you do have some sort of soul contract here for a lot of you guys this is a spiritual connection a soul connection because this is for my capricorns and chosen ones so chosen ones you know typically have double triple missions and this is one of them okay no and it doesn't make it okay this is just also providing some guidance as you are on this you know whatever this mission is and that's going to be different for all of you so make sure you take this back to most high okay because god is going to want you to handle this differently depending upon you know the outcomes all right holy spirit What does the Capricorns and Chosen Ones need to see? Oh, okay, okay. We have soulmate here. Forever lesson, connection, emotions meant to be. Where did you come from? So, yeah, this person or people are missing or you are missing their love, their touch. I'm hearing your essence. Nightmare, mental conflict, fear, blinded, wake up, Freddy. Yeah, see? It's like somebody's like having nightmares, being haunted with how they treated someone here. I'm holding on to you. I'm undecided, not sure how to move forward, comfort, placeholder. So either you or whoever you're dealing with here is holding on to one another because it's just like they don't know what to do or you don't know what to do. And that's, that's wrong. Like, let go of that energy. Just because you don't know. See, it's that devil energy. 
making you fatigued and things of that nature, especially since this is a spiritual connection. You could feel receiving telepathic messages and so on and so forth, or you're sending them. You don't want me like this. Not ready. I'm a mess. No good gamble. So now this could have, for some of you guys, could have been in, in the energy that they were in. They could still be in this current energy, or you are. Flip the energies as you, or are. Flip the energies as you see fit. But you don't want anybody in that energy. No, you don't deserve that. Or, you know, they don't, whatever. Um, ignoring messages from spirit. Negative option, not ready, childish, not a good idea. So, you know, because again, like I, I mean, literally, like I just said, you don't want anybody that's still in that energy. They have to go through their transformation. And that's if they really choose to, right? Because that's people have to choose to heal. You can't force them. You can't do the work for them. You can support them. That's it. That's about it. Because they're they are the ones that have to do the unlearning, the reparenting, okay, the healing those childhood wounds that you didn't get as a kid, maybe similar or not at all. But they are the ones that have to heal through the healed lens and operate through the healed lens, right? In order for them to do that, they gotta work on healing. But you can't do it for them, or they can't do it for you. And they have to want to, and not for you or anyone else. For themselves, they have to want to change. They have to have the willingness. We have complicated, can't make decision, no clear answer, decision, no choice, unsure. So, you know, that's what makes this complicated, okay? And they could be also broke as a form of karma or you are. Take the energy as you see, as you see fit. Put, put yourself inside of the story as you see fit. Behind on bills, car, rent, other, not enough money. What do I do? And also, guys, this deck is Ghetto Messages um, by Cali Cap Energy 88. She is also a Capricorn, y'all. So check her out. Go purchase this deck if you are interested, okay? Her YouTube channel is also the same as her. Um, she dope, too. Uh, Cali Cap Energy 88. That's the name of, of her YouTube channel, too, on here as well, okay? So go ahead on and check her out because she dope, too. We have depression, sad, nothing going right, mental health, not interested, leave me alone. So you could be in this energy because of everything went, that went on and or. Yeah, see, look, separation. <laughs> For a lot, look, missing you, distance, no communication, silence, leave me alone. So you could have went stop mute on this person or people or they did on you depending upon what side of the story that you're on. And both of, both of you guys could be in this energy for two totally separate reasons, okay? Or not at all, you know? But you know, it's nothing wrong. You have to, feeling is healing. But you also have to do things to help you, you know, raise your vibration too. So give your, allow yourself two, three hours a day to release that negative energy. And then engage in things that can help raise your vibration, right? A balance, okay? But you don't have to heal alone. It's therapists, life coaches, mentors, all right? Toxic city, unhealed, I won't treat you right, messy, okay? So, it's a sad case. Capricorn, you or whoever you did, look, because they, I'm broke. I began to write you a text, and then I deleted behind on you see i'm broke came out so but this is a part of their energy because i'm hearing not just how they treated you this was a habit they've treated other people like this they were comfortable or you were comfortable treating other people like this and you deserve better than me insecurity no confidence i'm the problem and we have i'm coming back please wait for me taking care of things clearing bad karma plans time reconciliation don't lose faith so it's like you or whoever you are dealing with, put yourself inside a story that you see fit. They feel, they know that you deserve better or you know that they deserve better. And they, they want to come back. They want to reconcile and or you do. But the thing is, is that nobody's obligated to wait here. You're not obligated to wait on them. They're not obligated to wait on you. Go have fun. Date. You know, even if you don't want to date, like you still have no obligations okay to wait on anybody all right um and if you just so happen to be single and they choose to go through their transformation or you do and they so happen to be single you know then and you you have god in the middle of your connection hey 
you know. Because people can transform. But there's other people that choose not to because they don't want to put in the work. So, check the fruit. Check the fruit. Holy Spirit, this is for my Capricorns and Chosen Ones. Holy Spirit, what do they need to see? What does the Capricorns and Chosen Ones need to see? Health and healing here. Come out the closet. So you can want them to come out the closet or they could want you and or they want you. To come out, maybe you have, you know, you guys haven't seen each other in a while for some of you. Wow. Twin flame. <laughs> Trust. So. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> Y'all. They just popped my vent. Oh my gosh. There's a little synchronicity. Yeah. Then the Holy Spirit and my spiritual team sometimes. Listen, this is how we play. Okay, so but let me tell you something. It don't matter if they're your twin flame, soulmate, whatever. You deserve the best treatment that you can get. You got to remember, everybody has flaws. But there is a difference between your flaws and, and, and abusive flaws. Okay, so... Just be mindful, okay? And yes, people can change and transform. But they have to want to do that on their own. And they have to go through God to do that. And or you. But everybody's entitled to make their own decisions. So detached from drama, this is what you or your twin um, is going to have to make the decision to do. Or you. You know, take charge of the situation. So a lot of you guys are spiritual teachers. And this kind of goes back to a reading that I did not too long ago with an actual person. Like chosen ones having a double, triple mission and the actual person being one of the missions here. For the chosen, for the chosen. Uh, and it, Yeah, it was a chosen Capricorn reading. Mm hmm. So. Some of you guys could use some sort of movement, yoga, dancing, exercising, make, make it fun, clear, shield your energy for the, I'm here for the time being. Another one, Holy Spirit. Open your heart to love. Really? Because God said he the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is your granddaddy. <laughs> Let me stop playing. But yes. Okay. Oh, and drink more water. Oh, you might be having a location change too. Because this is also my location card as well. Like a different change in scenery. Ocean energy here. All right. And also for a lot of you, yeah, for the ones that have the good moral code of conduct and, you know, you're not perfect. However, you you do have a heart and you use it, okay? Sometimes too much. <laughs> okay, and for my fallen angels, you can always repent, but you still got to serve this karma back because you knew better for a lot of you. All right, so that was your reading, y'all. Okay, I hope it resonated. I hope it was some sort of guidance for you thus far. Thank you all for your love and support here on this channel. It is truly, truly appreciated. And always remember, you make your own decisions. Peace out. Deuces.